Welcome to the MRS 1000A placement video. We're going to begin today by powering up both the HCT as well as the PCT units. You can do this by depressing the leftmost button, which is the power button. You'll have to hold it for a couple of seconds and then the LCD display will come to life. That's the same on both systems. As you notice, they both use the same three button operation. In the upper right hand corner of your screen, you'll see a profile that's popped up. That profile is the board level temperatures and times that we want to try to achieve with the HCT-PCT combination. The way we program either unit is we depress the P button, which then causes one of the parameters to flash. Once you have a flashing parameter, either temperature or time, you can then adjust the duration or the temperature by using the plus and minus buttons, as shown here in the video. The P button again moves you to the next zone or temperature. And as you scroll through, you can either leave the setting or adjust the setting with the plus or minus buttons. As you scroll around, you'll come to the cooling zone. Now the cooling zone has a minimum of 60 seconds for cooling, and that's factory preset to protect the system. So you can't change that. But you can also see that the MRS button is flashing, which signifies that both the HCT and the PCT are connected together. In this case, we're using internal thermocouples to measure the temperature of our outputs from our heaters. And we can also adjust our airflow. Now, when you adjust your airflow, you will get air coming through your nozzle. And whatever you set it to, it will become a permanent part of this process. Once the process has been created, you can save it with a number, P1 through P99, really P0 through P99. Using the blue button on the handpiece, we'll switch between the placement and removal modes. To get started, we're going to show you an alignment process without the reflow nozzle in place. So we start out by applying flux to the board. In this case, we used a syringe with a tapered needle. And then a, then a cotton swab for actually spreading the paste flux on the board. The beauty here is, is the viscosity of that flux will help to secure the component in position. And even if we were to handle the board, the component would remain aligned. Now, with the nozzle removed, which is how we're showing you here, just so you can see the operation, we're using the X and Y micrometers to position the component in alignment with the silk screens that are on the board. In actual use, you would have a nozzle inserted. But again, we chose not to have a nozzle inserted to show you a clear image on your screen. Now, you can see it with the bell style nozzle in place. Now, this is a 25 by 25 millimeter nozzle, which fits that component. Once the component's in alignment, again, using the micrometers, notice the board has not moved. We're using the micrometers on the head the parts positioned, and the nozzles brought down to the component. If you choose to, during any of these processes with the HCT or the PCT, you can use an external thermocouple for, for information. And that information would be the actual board level temperature. It could be secured under the component or adjacent to the component using Kapton tape. Once it's in place, you can measure your in this case, component temperature or bottom side temperatures. Once reflow has been achieved, system is, is done and you're ready to go on to your next operation.